Gay drone here, the Tello Killer. Bam! The supposed Tello Killer. This is the Dr. X from DI, and we're going to show you how to set this up. We're going to give it a test. We're going to check out the app. We're going to check out the SD quality long hold underneath here so you see a red light. Uh, we are connected. Uh, before we even connect to the drone, I'm going to open up the app much like we did with the Tello. Open up the app. I'm going to click flight. It says make sure your phone's connected to the Wi-Fi, which is what we are going to do now. We are going to go into our settings. We are going to go to Wi-Fi. We're going to connect to the i30. And 1 to 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, I believe is the password. Click join. We are connected. So we'll get out of settings. We'll get back to the app. And we'll just hit cancel on that. So I'm just going to lift it up here. And yeah, it, took, it took a little while to, uh, to adjust, but then it did adjust quite well from being down on the ground to going up. Uh, what we're going to do, we're going to start a screen recording uh, in three, two, one. We are recording. And then what we'll do is uh, we will record here. If I can figure out how to record, um, we will... Or we won't record yet. We'll get this up in there and we'll mess around with it. We'll click take off. We'll slide to take off. So it goes up. And again, it takes a while from going to the ground um, to getting up for, for the image to actually clear up. And just looking. Looks good. Looks clean. Looks super clean. Um, as far as what I'm looking on on the app. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll just go and we'll click record. I want it up a little bit higher. Okay, up a little bit higher. And we're going to click record. Alright guys, so this is coming from the eye of the supposed Tello killer. And we got left to right shake, which leads me to believe this does not have image stabilization. Um, and my controls are inverted. Uh, my controls are definitely inverted, which is uh, weird. And I did try to update this after this video. That's what I'm recording over this footage after the video. Um, and the, I, I couldn't update it any further. So we're definitely going to have to figure out how to get those controls working. I am in contact with the manufacturer. So maybe they'll have a trick. But uh, as far as quality of this camera, it beats the Tello. It does beat the Tello. We can pull better pictures off this. We can pull better video off this if we fly it um, properly. If we fly it with precision. Uh, as far as uh, as far as the drone itself goes, with uh, no image stabilization, the Tello is going to win in that favor. You can see me pitching left and right, and it's uh, it's it's having a hard time. Not a hard time. It's just not stabilizing. You're seeing the pitch in the video. It should be recording to the SD card. There, we're clicking record again. It needed approval to save to the phone as well, but it should be recording to the SD card. And why are we going backwards? Now we're going forwards. Seems my uh, telemetry is backwards for some reason. Maybe, hmm. Let's see. Yeah, it seems like my telemetry is reversed. I wonder if there's a way to fix that. Because I'm, I'm yawing right and it's yawing left. And now I'm yawing left and it's yawing right. It's super slow. Um, and even my pitch and roll is reversed. So I'm going left, it's going right. I'm going back, it's going forward. Which I guess I should be alright to be able to mess around with this. Um, there has to be a way to reverse that. There has to be. And that yaw is super slow. Super slow yaw. Extremely slow yaw. Look at it. I believe we are in selfie mode. There is another mode that we can be in. We're going to go ahead and just drop this over here. Um, we'll stop recording. We'll take a picture. Should have took a picture. I've seen the lights flash. Um, we'll get all up in this drone's face here. Get a good look at it there. Bring it down a little bit. 
So yeah, I guess I like it. I, I like the look at it. Inside, I wasn't quite, didn't quite care for the look out of it, but in, in flight with the blue eyes blinking, I guess I'm good with that. Um, so we're actually going to tap land, and you have to slide the land. I want to see if there's any way that we can reverse the, the controls. We're going to go into settings, um, joystick mode. <laughs> it doesn't look like it. We could put it in high speed. We'll put it in high speed. Uh, selfie mode, aerial mode, um, stick controls, American habits, notice the modes. Uh, to set habits using joystick. One is American habits, the other is Japanese. We'll click Japanese maybe. Maybe the Japanese is actually the correct uh, way that I'm going to be able to use it and American, they have it back for some reason. So we'll go ahead and click take off again. We're going to go up. Okay, no. <laughs> That's definitely not correct because now my, now my up and it, it's still so it switched my throttle to the right side with Japanese and even going left it's still going right and going right it's going left um, we did de that definitely needs to be figured out um, or maybe maybe I should calibrate it maybe that would help so we're gonna click land maybe the calibration will fix that I don't know uh, we're also gonna go back and we're going to change that back to American um, I don't think there's anything else that I can change in here. Selfie mode or area mode. Um, speed. No, that's it. Joystick mode, motion sensitivity mode. Um, so we'll get out of there if my finger ever hits this X properly. There we go. And we'll hit calibrate. Calibrate. Please place unmanned aerial vehicle on a horizontal plane. Okay. And we are calibrating. Calibrating. Finish calibration. So we're going to go up again. And we are going up. Nope, it's still, the yaw rate is still reversed. Um, what if I click this? Spin flight. Fly and rotate around its own axis. Yeah, we could do that, I guess. I'm not sure what that's going to do. <laughs> the camera does look really good. Um, I mean, we'll raise this up a little bit while it's doing whatever it's doing. I guess it's, I guess what it's doing, it's it as a pivot point and it's actually just rotating out, um, kind of almost what a three, 360 degree thing would be. Um, but yeah, as far as the controls go, again, I'm pressing left and it's going right. I'm pressing right and it, it's, it's, it, the controls are backwards. I'm pressing back and it's going forward. And now it's kind of off on its own. I'm going to have to bring this back to myself using reverse controls, which I can do. It's not a problem. Um, I guess that's the optical flow sensor up that high. Moving quickly, is how it had a little bit of an issue where it was continuing drifting. But as you can see, the optical flow sensor works really well. Um, <laughs> I can't believe the controls are backwards. And I don't see any way to do this. Uh, we are going to, uh, I guess we're going to end this abruptly. What I want to do is I want to record once more to that SD card. I want to kind of just go this way. All right, guys. And again, here's a little look at the SD quality. And as we are pitching forward, the nose is down. It pitches forward. The quality is great, though. The quality of this camera is really good. It is definitely going to be 1080p. Um, a clean 1080p, you can see me buzzing back. No image stabilization. That's just me flying on the sticks. But again, as I was pitched backwards, now we're pitched forward. We're looking at the ground. There is no image stabilization. So is this telekiller? I don't think so. Is this, uh, is this tele competitor? Yeah, I think so. It needs a little bit more work. And we'll go forward by pressing back. Almost hit my car. I'm going to kind of do that. And then we'll come forward. So I'm able to fly it. I'm definitely able to fly it. 
with these backwards controls, I kind of wrap my head around it. Um, the average person might have a little bit of difficulties with this. I do have low power on my phone, so we're going to end this. We're going to stop the recording. We're going to land it. I still have 43% battery. Um, we're going to land. We're going to slide the land. I didn't perform any updates on it. Maybe there's an update that'll fix that. Um, we are also going to stop our screen recording. Stop. And uh, I'm going to try to integrate this, not picture in picture like I generally do, because again, I got work soon. But uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do. Uh, so far, I don't know. And, and one thing I don't like about this, just as well as I didn't like with the Tele, you have to charge the battery with the battery in it. Maybe they'll come out with a charger. But the SD card on this uh, is definitely an upgrade. Um, controls being backwards, not that great. I don't see a way to change them in there. I'll read the manual. Maybe there's a way to change them. Uh, guys, I'm Jadron. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Smash that subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up button. Bing! Hit the bell to get notifications.